guess what, guys? It's that time of the month. No, it's not my period. What the F? Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome back to your everyday nerd, the B-Sides edition. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. Here on the B-Sides, we take a look at anything and everything in nerd culture and Sometimes we talk about food because food is just very much a part of nerd culture as anything else. You heard of Doritos? You heard of Mountain Dew? You heard of junk food? I'm not an active participant in junk food. I usually, if I'm hungry, I eat a regular meal, but we did a candy aisle episode once and I, I think it's a really cool thing. I like doing this particular thing because I don't eat candy that often. So I went back to Walmart and picked up four little goodies and um, I'm just gonna pick one out. See which one we want to try first and go from there. Boom. First up on the list is Sour Punch Watermelon Straws. Now this one actually came from the local gas station. It's like 10 minutes down the road. That was because I went and got me a drink and they were like, oh, we're gonna have to charge you $3 if you don't get something that's $5. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, guess we're grabbing two drinks and a piece of candy. Now I've had these before, but it's been years. It's been decades. It's been it's, it's been about a decade. The watermelon straw, ooh, they're very sticky. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I guess we're just gonna dig right in. It looks like a piece of calamari. Let's try it. Hmm. It sure is sour. It sure is watermelony. I'll tell you what, it's okay. We got sugar everywhere, so I need to make sure I clean this up. I think my issue with this is it's fine. Like, I've had it before when I was younger, and I'm pretty sure I loved it then. But now I'm like, would I really want to eat this? The problem with it is, number one, it's sticky, which already makes it a mess. And I don't remember these being sticky. Number two, it's hard. It's like you have to chew on it a little bit. Number three, it makes, like I said, it makes a mess. And like, I don't know. I just feel like this isn't that good. <laughs> There's better watermelon flavors. There's better sour candy. There's just no reason for you to pick this up. But that was number one. Let's go to the next one. Do, 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 do. I don't know what I'm saying. Sweet Tart Ropes Bites. Now, I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna get, so I actually picked up another piece of candy. But when I got to the aisle that I was checking out, I saw this, and I've never seen this before. This looks like it's brand new, considering it does say new on it. Chewy outside, soft inside. This is a share pack. I don't know who they, I don't know who they expect me to share it with. Colors from real sources. I don't know what that means either. But uh, I like Sweet Tarts, and this looks, it looks weird. Strawberry, blue punch, cherry, apple, and orange. Let's give it a try. If I like it, I'll eat this all later. So it, it's got a little bit of the sugar on it, just like these do, but it, it looks a little different. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I like that. Okay, so let me try to explain it. It's almost like if it's got the texture of Sour Patch Kids, but it's not sour. But the inside, it, it tastes just like a sweet tart, but it's chewy and it's not, and it's kind of soft, it's good. I like it. It's such an interesting taste. It's the texture that's really throwing me off. Cause it's like, it's fruit, right? Like we've had these fruit flavors forever, but it's the texture that's a little bit different and it's still got that like, it's got a little bit of a tart taste and it's got a little bit of the sweet taste put together. It's a good chewy. It's not like this chewy, which is very, it gets hard to get through. This one is good. I like this. Sweet Tarts Rope Bite. How many servings does it say it has? 3.5, because I'm going to be real with you. I've been working on my health, but like this is gone today. <laughs> and now we continue in our bag of goodies. Boom. With yet another fruit flavored thing. Juju fruit. Now, this looks generic. This looks generic as frick, man. This is, I am not expecting anything different or unique for this. I think this was about a dollar. It looks like it was about a dollar. I also expected, I don't know why I expected some kind of like wrapper, some kind of plastic thing in here, but no. 
It's just straight juju fruits, juji fruits in there. So it looks like we got a few different flavors. They are, these are basically dyes. Let's be honest here. Yeah, it's gummy flavor. Mmm, it is super chewy. This is a bad chewy. Lime, raspberry, lemon, orange, and anise. What the hell is anise? I've never heard of that before. Well, um, we'll try the, uh, try the raspberry, yeah. I gotta find out what a new say is, PRV. It's like licorice. This is the kind of gets stuck in your teeth. Oh, that's annoying. This is the first candy on this show. Maybe the, the Sour Punch straws, right? I don't, I don't recommend this. These are, this is the one that I'm just like, don't buy this for your kids. Like it's, it's too chewy. It gets stuck in my teeth. It's got very regular ass flavors. I'm not a fan of juju on that beat. Fruits, they're, they're just not good. <laughs> the, the ingredients are corn syrup, sugar, modified food starch, corn starch, natural and artificial flavors, white mineral oil, carna, carna uba wax, caramel color, blue one, yellow six, red 40, and yellow five. This is the definition of obesity. <laughs> Will I be finishing this? Probably, I'll just leave it on my desk, eat a few here and there, but this is not something that I would ever, ever get again. Hey, it's Zach from the future editing this video. I did not finish these. I ate like two more and then threw them away because they were awful and I don't recommend and they're the worst candy I've ever. That's not true, but it's pretty close. Don't eat juji fruits. Now it's for the last one. The one that I'm, I'm truly actually excited for. I've never seen one of these in real life, but I've heard good things about them. That is, do do do, the Toblerone. Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat. This is Toblerone of Switzerland. I've heard about this from my Canadian friends and uh, I'm very interested. I don't even know what this month looks like, but we're gonna try it. Three servings per container. So that's pretty epic. Oh. Okay, this is nice. This is, this is top dollar candy. Let's uh, let's open this bad boy up. Come on, come on. It's a little, it's a little uh, frustrating to open. It's just like this metal wrapper. Okay, cool, that's fine. So, this is very much like a Hershey bar in terms of you can break it apart. It's got the word Toblerone written on it. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I can smell the chocolate and the honey. I'm not sure about the almond nougat, but we're just gonna break off a piece. Look at this. Oh, okay, we broke off two pieces, that's fine. And uh, I think I'm just gonna bite into it, let's go. Mmm, oh, that's good. I'm not usually a nut person. When it comes to candy. Like, Snickers are fine, but it's not something that I prefer. Almond joys are okay, but again, it's not something I prefer. Peanut M&Ms are good. They're, again, not something I prefer though. But this doesn't have like full nuts into it. It's just got like little bits of it. Not even that, it's a nougat. It almost tastes like caramel, but it's because it's chocolate with honey. Oh man, this is the best one all day. I need milk. And you forgot to remind me to get milk for this episode. I can't believe it. All right, so final verdict. Toblerone is the best one we've had on the show. Last episode we had a lot of good things, but Toblerone is the best one. I'll definitely be getting this in the future. Sweet Tarts Road Bites was a pleasant surprise. Not something that I'm necessarily gonna be getting in the future, but it was good just for this episode. Sour Punch Straws are my third favorite on this one, and my favorite, I mean, like, it's just fine. It's not great, it's not terrible, it's just okay. And uh, Juji Fruits, don't, don't buy these. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you're using it, like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite candy that I showed off today? What kind of candies do you want me to try in a future episode? And uh, are you liking the candy? Because I do like it. In the meantime, go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd, and I will see you tomorrow.